While returning to the cabin you walk into a small clearing near a stream. It looks like the perfect place to set up a camp. Why no, go to cabin. I know it's only a few miles back to the cabin but we need to camp here tonight. It's a working theory and tonight should prove whether it is correct or not. Sounds like a good plan. Break out the rations, it's a picnic. Did anyone bring a big 60? Tefri herding, rest here on ground. I will gather up a night's worth of dead wood and get us a fire going. I think we should get to sleep early. I fear we will be attacked around midnight. What is going to attack us in the night? Wolves most likely, but could be spiders, bandits, wraiths. By chance, are any of you carrying an ancient evil ring? Are you sure you haven't been eating shrooms? It would explain a lot. We have followed you this far, we are with you no matter how crazy you sound. Wake bear when it's clobbering time. I think I have reached a conclusion. I will know more in the morning, if we survive the night. Since I only need to meditate for a few hours I will take second and third watch if you will take first Bordan, we can let Tefri and Jassa sleep. Jassa, as you settle down you see a small slip of paper fall from inside the scroll of destruction on your belt holder and flutter to the ground. I discreetly pick up the paper and read it quietly. It reads, I trust you will do the deed. This might help, just make sure the boys are behind you when you read it. Signed, simply, Mayor. I slide the paper in my pouch. Narrator, I pretend to be asleep but I have a light spell ready to cast. While on watch I keep an arrow notched and ready to fire. Sarfa, around midnight you see the forms of many large wolves emerge from the mist surrounding the campfire circle. I yell wolves, and drop the nearest one with an arrow. He drops dead. With a great howl, they surge forward. Roar, bear hates wolves. Who, what, where? I grab my battle axe lying beside me and get up ready to slay. I cast my light spell before initiative starts. Some of the wolves' eagerness seems quelled by the sudden light and their initiative is decreased by half. Everyone roll initiative, Tefri and Beardin, you must use your first action of the first round to grab your axe and stand up, or get oriented from being awakened. Jassa, we could use another of those clutch plays. I attack the nearest two. You slay two of the beasts. This is my moment. I will prepare and cast my shatter spell. To everyone's amazement, including my own, your spell goes off with a loud crack killing every single wolf since they were all fodder with one hit point. I am so happy, but kinda sad for all the wolves. Well done Jassa. Well, that was impressive. Tefri no, get to Maul. Tefri want to know why you know about wolves. Let us leave this place of death and get to our fishing cabin. I will tell you all what I believe there. You get back to your cabin as dawn breaks and settle in for a nice warm breakfast of rations and wilted carrots. Okay lass, now tell us what is going on. Okay, I will level with you guys. I think we are stuck in the example village. All we seem to run into are one-off examples that are somehow connected because we broke the system. Think about it. We fought a necromancer in a cemetery, met at a tavern, fought some cheesy flowers and push over cultists. We then run into a bridge troll while headed to the farm. A bridge troll, then it's orcs, now an attack on our camp. This is all basic stuff. It's a wonder we didn't have to cross a swift moving creek on a log. However, I think I know where it all leads. It's simple role-playing. Today we will confront the mayor of this village. <laughs>